Hey guys, this is a wall decor that I just recently made and I chose the color red for the background because when the lights come on, it turns glittery pink in the inside. I really love the effect that this wall decor gives and I'm super excited to share with you guys just how I made this. Now here are the items that I used for this project. The full list of all the items that I'll be using for this project will be in the description box below. Now I started off by cutting a foam board and cutting out pieces also to create a canvas for the design. This is what it should look like and then I kept it aside. Now I'm just going to be taking the flowers that I intend to use and I'm plugging them out from the stems. These are the larger ones and then this is what I'm going to be using to make out the smaller flowers. And now I took two 8x10 picture frames and removed the glass and spray painted them with the gloss cherry red. Kept them aside and then I took twigs from outside and I spray painted them gold also. And here I'm just trying to see how I can arrange the sticks to form the design. If you look closely, you can see that the spray painting on the glass is uneven and that is because we want to give it some nice effect when the lights come on. When you start with the second glass, you have to make sure that the sticks kind of align with each other. Like right here, I used the thickness that's the same with the other one. When I was okay with the design, I started gluing them down using a hot glue gun. I spray painted the glass on just one side alone so that the other side is clear and it's easy to clean up. So before you start gluing down your sticks down, you have to properly clean down your glass. Now that I'm done gluing down the twigs, I'm going to start gluing down the flowers. I'm done gluing down the flowers and this is what they all look like, separately. I got the canvas that I made and I placed both designs on top. And then I realized I was supposed to make two separate canvases for the both designs. So I split it into two and worked out the edges. Then I used the measurements for the glasses to achieve this and then I spray painted the edges gold. Now I'll be using these two pieces of wood with an E6000 glue and a hot glue gun to attach them to the back. This is just to keep the pieces together. I flipped it over and oh, what a mess. <laughs> During the spray painting, it kind of like went inside and the edges are kind of rough also, but don't worry about that because you're not going to see any of that at the end of the day. This is the lighting that I will be using and it uses a remote and it works. I will be leaving a link for this lighting in the description box below. Now I took the two boards that I made and I'm going to be looking for the middle part and carving it out with an exacto knife because I'm going to be passing the wires for the two boards. I'm doing this because I'm using just one lighting and then I'm passing the wire across and I use the hot glue gun to glue it down. You can skip this step if you have two separate lightings. And now I'm just going to be gluing down the bulbs down to the boards. I glued down the battery pack and here I'm just trying to see if it works and yes it does. Now I took this gold diamond wrap and I covered up the edges. And then I took the acrylic paint with a brush to paint the wood that's showing. And here I'm just going to be gluing down the designs onto the boards that we made with the lighting inside.
When that was done, I glued two hooks that I got from my Dollar Tree mirrors to hang it on the wall. And this is what we have. And I used flowers also to cover up the parts where the wood is showing. So added flowers. And this is what it looks like at night. And when the lights come on, bam, it's pretty. It's all pinkish and glowing in the inside. Isn't it amazing that you can use simple items like twigs from outside to make a beautiful wall decor? I reduced the light to see what it was going to look like. And then in total darkness, this is what it looks like. I really love the way this turned out. And I'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section below what you guys think about this awesome design and if it's something you'd like to hang up in your home. You can separate the frames if you like, but I put them together because I was using just one lighting. But then there are two separate frames. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.